It is Take Control Tuesday. That means Mansa Musa from MoneySmartLife.org is on the phone with me. And Mansa, you know, the summertime was really hard uh, with my AC bill, but I understand it could get a little harder. Well, that's possible. You know, in your mail, you should have gotten a letter by now from DTE if they're providing your electric service about a rate change that's coming March 1st. Mm -hmm. And it's a peak off peak program. And here's how it works. Basically what DTE is trying to do is to smooth out electrical demand during peak periods. That way they don't have to build additional capacity. So from the periods of 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., that's going to be peak periods. And if you think about that in the summer, yeah, that's generally the hottest part of the day, right? Right. So that's when everybody's air conditioners kicking on. That's also when people are coming home from work, school, and et cetera. There's a high demand on energy. So what they're doing is the old rule, supply and demand. So they're increasing the price of the energy during the peak periods hoping that people will shift the demand for energy to the lower cost period of between 7 p.m. and 2 p.m. the next day. Listen to these rates. In the summer, off-peak will cost you 15 cents or so per kilowatt hour, whereas in the summer, during the peak period, that'll be almost 21 cents. So Hmm. you're going to be paying a third more. Yeah. If you use the electricity during the peak period. And I think the weekends are all off peak as well. Okay. So just change your lifestyle once again or change things that you're doing between 3 and 7 p.m. to shift to off peaks. Now, there are other available discounts for people, and we just want to go over them quickly. And here's the thing about DTE you got to ask for them, they don't yeah. automatically give them to you. Sure do. The first one is if you're over 65, you automatically get a senior citizen credit on your bill. It's $4.50. It works out to about $52 a year. But you're entitled to it, so ask for it. There's also a voluntary time of day electric plan where they do peak and off peak, but your off peak periods are different. So off peak is between 7 p.m. and 11 a.m., whereas peak periods are between 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Once again, peak is always during the hottest part of the day. Another discount they have is what they call dynamic peak pricing. So on those days that are going to be really hot, when DTE knows there's going to be a high demand for electricity during the peak periods, if you're signed up for this program, you can save money and they're going to turn down your electricity in your house. Oh, interesting. Yeah, they can control that. So how do you save money regardless of what discount plan you have or you don't have? Number one, in the summertime, you want to pre-cool your house. Get your house down the temperature before it gets to peak time, mm-hmm. right? And then hopefully your air conditioner will have to run less during the peak periods. Run your appliances at nights and on weekends, right? Do your wash on the weekends. Got it, yeah. Run your dishwasher and those kind of things at night. Now, this is somewhat challenging for people that cook with electricity because, you're generally preparing the evening meal right during the peak period. Right, so yeah. The other thing is get a smart thermostat. DTE will give you a smart thermostat for free, practically, and you can automate your energy savings. Charge any devices that you have, phones, computers, etc., only during off-peak hours. Get some timers so that you can automatically turn things off and on to take advantage of peak and off-peak hours. And finally, change all your light bulbs to LED. Mm -hmm. So when they're on, you're using as little energy as possible. And practice right now. I love all of that, Mansa. And we can get that information up on our website at TakeControlTuesday.com. And Mansa, it's at MoneySmartLife.org for you. Thank you so much. Thank you.